We're here at MACNA 2011 in Des Moines, Iowa, the Marine Aquarium Conference of North America, talking about lettuce nudibranchs. Do they eat algae in your tank? Do they not? Of course, bryopsis is better known as hair algae. It's almost impossible to get rid of it. Everybody has problems with it. The question is, what actually works? We talked with Kevin Gaines, who dives several times a week off the coast of Florida, if lettuce nudibranchs will really eat the algae in your tank. Here's what Kevin had to say. What, what should people know about that before they even consider putting it in their tank? Well, basically they need a food source for it, and it is primarily a macroalgae eater. So if you have some algae, some, sometimes they eat clarpa, but mostly they like bryopsis or hair type algae. So. Um, lettuce slugs do really good when there's, let it, you know, hair algae or those kinds of macro algae for them to feed on. What other water parameters are important? Uh, anything just like your regular reef tank parameters they like. They're probably, you know, quite tolerable to lower water quality than some of the other because they live in really inshore environments where there's kind of extreme temperature changes. But primarily, they're all dependent upon food. If they don't have food, then they're going to starve and die and that's generally they'll eat all the algae in the tank eventually if, if it's the right kind of algae and then um, they'll, they'll just disappear. But they don't like a lot of ton of flow so it's beneficial to have them you know in a tank especially initially with the pumps turned down so they can kind of establish and start eating but you don't want to be blasting water at them they'll just blow and go right over the overflow and you'll never see them again. The big attraction to the lettuce slug is it's kind of cool looking but primarily eats the algae that nothing else will eat. You know, your tangs, your crabs, even some of the fox faces that are notorious for eating some problematic algae, bubble algae and things. These guys tend to really hone in on the hair algae and bryopsis, so that's why they're so popular in the, in the aquarium. So if a guy's got a bad outbreak, it will it really work? It will work, absolutely. Yeah, and they're fairly inexpensive, and sometimes you're left, you know, there's no way to, to harvest hair algae off a rock very effectively. It's, it's attached like a mat, so um, biological control is your best bet, and these guys do the job. So thanks to Kevin Gaines for sharing his knowledge on lettuce nudibranx. Turns out they really do work, but once that algae's gone, it might be hard to keep them alive. We're here at MACNA, the Marine Aquarium Conference of 2011 in Des Moines, Iowa. Check out our next FinCast. It's coming out soon.